Annual Review of Competence Progression, or ARCP, is the yearly review of how you are doing as a trainee and is the final hurdle you need to pass to complete each year of training. Even for trainees working less than full time, this is a yearly event. The purpose of ARCP includes reviewing trainee experience and progress, ensuring appropriate evidence to support progression, identifying gaps in knowledge or experience, providing advice to your responsible officer regarding revalidation, and finally, to hopefully sign you off as having completed this level of training and to show you're ready to progress to higher training. For most trainees, it usually occurs in May or June, and you should be informed of the dates of each meeting well in advance. It's possible for people that have taken periods out of training, etc., for their ARCP to be out of sync, but if this is relevant to you, you'll be informed of this in good time. Interim reviews are carried out two or three months prior to your ARCP, and the purpose of these reviews is primarily to highlight any issues that still aren't completed and hopefully give adequate time for this to be addressed so you can still get a satisfactory outcome. The ARCP is a remote electronic exercise for the majority of trainees utilising the ePortfolio. It's carried out by a panel containing at least three people, one of whom must be either a Deputy Postgraduate Dean, Head of School or Training Programme Director, and may include other members including the Chair of the Specialty Training Committee, RCP tutors, deputy training programme directors, lay representatives and an external advisor from another region of the country. For trainees on an academic programme, the panel should include at least one academic representative. If you're interested in the exact requirements of who may be there and the process followed, you can look at the Gold Guide available from www.copmed.org.uk. The panel will assess your progress in achieving the required competencies at the appropriate level. The criteria for satisfactory progression are set out in the ARCP decision aid, available from www.jrcptb.org.uk. Although it's mostly a remote exercise, a 10% sample of trainees, plus those whose progression is uncertain, will be required to attend a formally convened ARCP panel. Here the trainee is required to come in person, but only meets the panel after its deliberations are concluded to receive the outcome. There are several potential ARCP outcomes, all of which are numbered, but most trainees will progress satisfactorily and receive an outcome 1 initially and an outcome 6 after their final year of training. Other outcomes exist, and full details of these are defined in the Gold Guide, but include outcome 2, development of specific competences required, additional training time not required, and outcome 5, incomplete evidence presented, additional training time may be required. If the report from the educational supervisor is not available on the due date, the competences not recorded and signed off as required in the ePortfolio or anything required in the decision aid hasn't been completed, then the ARCP panel cannot award an ARCP outcome 1 or 6. Unsatisfactory progress may delay or prevent progression to the next stage of your training, and trainees who do not meet targets set at ARCP within the set time frame may be exited from the training programme. The responsibility for the provision of evidence lies with the trainee, but like every area of the programme, if you're having problems, you must contact your educational or clinical supervisor, your programme director or RCP tutor in adequate time to ensure issues can be addressed.